Hey everyone, uh, my name is Mike Fricano at EdTechNocation and uh, I'm going to uh, show off a cool little science kit um, that I got from MEL uh, Science or MEL Chemistry. They uh, sent it to me for free, wanted me to test it out because it's got um, some VR integration built in and I'll get to that a little later in the video but I wanted to uh, demo for you uh, one of the uh, science experiments that comes with this um, subscription-based at-home uh, science laboratory. So uh, what you get in the mail is um, this MEL chemistry starter kit. It's pretty sweet. comes with all you need to get started on a uh, little chemistry lab in your uh, home. And um, it's got some beakers, cups, tongs. It's got a, it comes with a tray. comes with safety glasses because you can't ever be too safe when it comes to science experimentation You've got stoppers um, comes with a burning plate syringe uh, a funnel and uh, more uh, but what I'm going to be using for this experiment is just the tray and uh, it also comes with its own um, MEL chemistry VR headset, and we'll get to uh, how this fits in a little later. But uh, I'm gonna put on my safety glasses because uh, I have glasses on already, but this gives me a lot more coverage of the face. What I'm gonna be dealing with are some fairly uh, dangerous chemicals that we don't want to get into our eyes. And this is what I'm working with today. This is the uh, the tin um, experiment kit, and it comes with two experimentations here. Comes in this flat box that I assume you get mailed to you every once in a while. That's what the box looks like. Okay, comes with two different experiments that involve the use of tin. This is what the inside looks like. Lots of different tubes and chemicals and you got some uh, alligator clips and a battery pack, protective gloves and some containers as well as uh, some instructions and safety information. Lots of safety information um, included in this, of course, because you're dealing with some pretty dangerous stuff sometimes. And uh, we have two uh, experimentation cards. One is on tin dendrites. We have some instructions on the back here to how to use the materials inside. And the other is a tin hedgehog. This is what I'm going to be uh, showing you today. It's a fairly low difficulty level and um, fairly low danger level. Estimates about 20 minutes of time for it to, uh, for you to completely finish. I think most of that, about 15 minutes, uh, involves waiting for the, the tin to become uh, a hedgehog here. Okay, put that on the side. We're gonna dig into this. It comes with protective gloves because you're dealing with some chemicals here, some fluorides. So I'm gonna put that glove on because uh, you don't want to get some of the stuff on your bare hands. It can serve as a skin irritant. And for this example, we're going to need um, uh, some tin fluoride, which comes in this little packet here. And uh, what we're going to need is uh, some tin fluoride, liquid in a bottle, and some pieces of zinc there. also comes with some absorption pads, but that's not necessary for this experiment. And then we also have a container where the hedge, the tin hedgehog is going to grow. So what this says to do is take your tin chloride, have to do a little shaking of it to break up some of the compounds inside. And it instructs me to fill the vial to half of its height, which on here is about two and a half milliliters. And you'll see uh, this is going to fill up really easy. There's some chunky stuff in here, so I have a toothpick to kind of prod it back down. Go like that. So I can open up the hole. I think I just need a little bit more inside. There we go. It's good. Close that back up. Inside. Okay. So I have a uh, 
a vial here contained with uh, tin chloride. And then the last step is to uh, put a zinc tablet or a, a, yeah, a zinc tablet inside here that looks like looks like a, looks like that and you just drop it inside and uh, close it up it says oops that's the wrong cap close it up inside and now we have a uh, oops sorry more um, a zinc uh, a zinc tablet inside of some uh, tin fluoride and uh, it says to wait about uh, 15 minutes um, and uh, watch it uh, turn into a, what should look like this a tin hedgehog and uh, so I'll, I'll show you what that looks like a little later in the video here but uh, I love uh, what I love about this uh, set here is um, the, the difficulty rating the danger rating the duration um, it gives you uh, you know con uh, chemistry breakdown there some safety tips put on protective gloves, uh, conduct all the experiments on the tray, and uh, disposal, it uh, explains how you dispose of the materials when you're done with this experiment. Dispose of the experiment residues along with regular household trash. So although some of these compounds and, and uh, um, some of these materials can be dangerous when used, um, it's nice to know that they can be uh, disposed of regularly in the trash when you're done and um, it even gives you some extra resources down here in the bottom it says uh, check out um, check out uh, how the tin hedgehog forms and you can learn more um, at the website there and um, and then it even answers the question on the back um, can you uh, keep the hedgehog that's a great question I'm sure you know when kids see this crazy thing forming here in the jar after about 15 minutes they're going to wonder you know is this something i can keep can i play with it what can i do with it and that question can be answered by going to this other link uh, that's on the back of the card now um, where the vr comes in is via i'm gonna take off my gloves now is via the um the app that mel chemistry has created it's a free app in the app store and um, so to focus on that, there you go. It's a free app, and uh, we're already starting to use this in um, science and chemistry classes at my school um, because uh, it has a quite an, um, variety of molecular compounds um, included here and their molecular breakdown, and um, they're three-dimensional and can be uh, broken up and viewed in different ways and interacted with here okay. and then um, hard to see down here but um, there is um, a VR option right here it's a picture of a little goggles of the, go of the Google, ca uh, Google Cardboard and um, oops there we go and what it does is allows you to split it up and then when you move um, your device around you move the three-dimensional um, uh, figure there so they give you um, there a, f a set a, a, a viewer th a VR viewer with um, some pretty decent uh, uh, lenses there as well as a head strap so you don't have to hold the thing in place and um, very easily pop that uh, three-dimensional figure into the viewer and then um, you can check it out in uh, uh, VR there and what else is the, the other way this is supposed to work is um, what you're supposed to be able to do although I haven't gotten it to work via the app is you're supposed to you're supposed to use your camera to see these unique um, labels here and when you hold the label up to the camera on your phone um, it's supposed to automatically see that label and then take you straight um, to that uh, uh, to that, 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 that molecule or that compound 
and so you can see its um, its chemical breakdown. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be working on my iPhone, and I haven't been able to figure out how that works. But the same can be done apparently with the cards. They have those uh, the special labels because this not only shows um, a list, an endless list of those uh, different chemical uh, components there, but you can also view uh, experiments. There we go. Um, so, and what, what's nice about it is um, they do, um, so you not only have the cards that are in the kit, uh, but you can also um, watch the YouTube video that's associated with that experiment. So they have a YouTube video for every experiment and it's all listed here in uh, much greater detail. It actually breaks down the steps a little further than this card does um, as well as g uh, gives you visuals on what to do, color, um, and uh, it even breaks it down even further. Um, they have a that's interesting section that talks a little bit more about the experiment and the chemicals you're working with and the experiments you're dealing with. Um, and so it's, uh, it can be very useful. This is a free app, MEL Chemistry, um, that you can, get, you can get for free in the App Store without the need for the science kit, but it complements this um, subscription-based science kit very well. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to have in your home. You can build your own laboratory, your own science laboratory in your home. And I, um, I think that can be um, extremely exciting for um, your children. Um, uh, at this point, I'm not too sure. Um, I think their, their website mentions that um, they're working on classroom sets for these science kits, but it's something they don't have available currently. And I know they just um, uh, received a pretty uh, large multi-million dollar um, evaluation for the company. So they have a lot of uh, new things on the horizon, I think, a lot of advancements, especially in the VR department. Um, this has been a huge hit for them. And I'm really excited to see uh, what that's like. Um, uh, so uh, uh, check it out, MEL Chemistry. Um, and check out the app um, in the iOS and Android app store, um, MEL Chemistry. Thanks for watching.